This should probably do a come to no surprise that I figure out that was Aaron Fitzgerald's voice actress to play as the most annoying roles possible. It was your fault after all. No hate against Aaron Fitzgerald. I love her voice acting, just not when she does annoying characters. My fault. I love her as Agnes, but good god, do I hate her as Chie. And especially as Genocide Jill. Just answer the question. Did oh, you forgot to put the timer, sorry. Well, to be honest, Miss Morose and me don't actually share our memories, so I can't really run. But I was just minding my own business, sleeping peacefully when someone shook me away. Was it a prince paying me a visit? I wondered. So I opened my eyes. Super Saiyan Sakura. I was not prepared for that. And, well, I guess it took me by surprise. I got so startled, I smacked her with the first thing I could find! Which I guess was a bottle. Sakura was just worried about you, and you... You're terrible! No, she's terrible! Thanks to her, I murdered someone who wasn't an adorable boy for the first time ever! <laughs> I don't know, if you're looking at Sakura for the first time, you would think she was an adorable... Never mind. <laughs> and when it was all over, you collected the pieces of the bottle to get rid of the evidence, didn't you? I wasn't about to die for some woman! If I'm gonna go down, I want it to be for killing Master! Just go away and die <laughs> your alone. Don't drag me in. Oh, so she wants to kill Byakuya. Okay, I have no problems with that. If you want to do that, then you might be, be, be able to redeem yourself. But I just can't catch a break. Not really, but, <laughs> you know. Because normally, Sakura should have been able to dodge my attack. No problem! Even as strong as she is, she must have still been reeling from Hero's attack. Hey, come on. That's, you know. But anyway... I'm not the one that killed Ogre, so that's good. You did attack her though, so that kind of makes you more distrusting of anything. So that's good. Keep talking like that, and he just gonna. Well then, that's that. Let's start Guys, the fucking poison! Ugh! I thought for sure you'd had some words for hero on that one. Come on, everyone, we're ready to vote, right? Let's do this. I was in a very huge hurry here. Not quite yet. Okay, Byakuya, would you like to put in your two cents on the thing? Yes, please explain about the fucking poison, anyone! Not yet? Why not yet? Don't you think there was something odd about Toko's story? I mean, you had- I guess that too. Odd. Hero's attack, and then Toko's, but that still wasn't the end of it. Again, the coughing blood thing about Bobber! Tell us your story one more time. Tell us right. even this gaggle of idiots should understand what I'm talking about. Alright. Oh, and by gaggle limited, you mean everyone except for me, you, and Kyoko. You wish is my command, darling! It's like us three are like the only smart people in this group. Like, what the fuck is up with these three? The other three. In fact, one of the other three is like in college age material, isn't he? God damn. Alright, whatever. Let's hear your stupid testimony, Jill. I wouldn't be surprised if there's gonna be a third. Oh god, okay, yellow powder. That has to be it, right? Hero summary, status of the Takara's body, yellow powder, okay. I was just sleeping peacefully, and all of a sudden, Sakura was right there in front of me! I remember waking up right in front of the magazine shelf. And you were taken by surprise when you saw Ogre covered in blood. So you smashed her head in with the Monokuma bottle? You got it! I smashed her good! And where did the attack take place? <laughs> Okay. I killed her there in front of the shelf! In front of the shelf. The magazine shelf, right? So if the second shot from Toko is what killed her, then the problem is... Where did Sakura... Wait a minute. I just need to be absolutely sure of its status of Sakura's body. Was found dead seated in the chair, slumping forward. Traces of blood were found- okay. Then this we, someone mentioned the yellow powder. God damn it! I'm getting really impatient with this fucking game. Impossible. No, that's wrong. So we're gonna find out who's the third murderer, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's only four minutes, so we can't take a real quick break, unfortunately. Right in a chair. If the blow by the shelf was the cause of death, there's no explanation why she was in that chair. So, you finally noticed. That's 
Just another lie from a bloodthirsty serial killer. Owie, please tell me you're not the one that poisoned her. I'm serious. I love you, babe. Are you sure you didn't attack her while she was sitting in the- Marshmallow, please do not watch this. <laughs> I know your fucking cloud has Bondo all over the place, alright? So I think I'm allowed to have Aoi as a waifu. No, I'm sure she's telling the truth. Anyone who saw the murder scene should think the same way. That has to be it. The evidence that proves there was an attack in front of the magazine shelf. I'm guessing that's the blood? I can't think of anything else that proves that there was an attack in front of the magazine shelf, so... I got yeah, it has to be it. Sakura was God, I'm not liking- I'm not gonna like the fucking comic section later on. The blood stained by the magazines is proof of that. Then she must have moved the body after she killed her, right? All to make it look like I did it. Because when I hit her, she was sitting in the chair. Hey, come on now, look at me. I can't carry anything heavier than my own scissors. There's no way I can move a muscle-bound heavyweight like that. Are we gonna get another stroller in this incident or something? Then what's the deal? She was still alive during the second blow! Well, are you still convinced the case has come to an end? But, but, plus, the biggest mystery of all, the locked room, still has yet to be explained. That too. Until we take care of that, we can't say this case has been properly settled. Oh, that part's easy. After she killed Sakura, Toko just hid in the locker again. No, that's impossible, Aoi, and Aoi, please don't make things up. You're making me... You're making yourself look guilty! Oh, so she just hid in there? Till everyone showed up and opened the door? Maybe she's just blind by anger as to figure out who the fuck kill, killed Sakura. Please tell me this is just suicide and Aoi wasn't the killer at all. While everything was all confused and hectic, she just snuck out of the locker into the group. No, I don't think that's possible. The reason there's no way Toko was hiding in the locker is because... I WAS IN THE LOCKER! That totally explains to sh- The locker was too small, that's not it. I got it! So that has to be it. Even before we open the door to the rec room, Hina and I both gotta look inside. And at that point, the locker was already open. So obviously Toko couldn't have been hiding in there. Okay then, where was she hiding? Honestly, I felt like she just left. Oh, what's this whole locked room thing about anyway? How do you not know? You killed her! I think the fact that I don't know proves I didn't kill her, thank you very much. You're lying! No, she's not. I've been saying all along, there's still more to this case. Uh, oh, Jill didn't God, I mean, just got this case. So. didn't die from the shot to the head. It's the poison, the yellow powder, guys! Someone bring it up already! What else could have killed her? That's because the yellow vital information. Biakia, are you just prolonging the inevitable by saying this shit? Come on. You're the one that searched up the yellow powder on the floor thing in my bobber. Could we really be missing something important? If there's another possibility explanation, maybe it's Okay. Alright, let's figure this out. Let's just prolong let's just figure this shit out. Okay, yellow powder. That has to be it, right? That has to be fucking it! Yellow powder! Come on, I'm... Ugh. Okay. What was it that killed Ogre? If it wasn't from Genocide Jill's attack, then what was it? Okay. There's no other possible cause. No. What killed Sakura? I can't think of anything other than the shot to her head. Yellow powder! Blaming me, huh? Okay, okay, okay. That's easy. That's very easy. Yellow fucking powder, guys! Here we go! Finally! I'm gonna bring this shit up! What?! What the fuck?! What is it then?! <sighs> what What are the other two options? If it's not yellow powder, Monokuma file number four, Aoi's account. What the fuck did Aoi say? It said something about the fucking thing, right? Where she lent letters to Byakuya, Yasuhiro, and Toko. Matter with the rec room, she did slid notes. Okay, that has nothing to do with it, so I don't even know why that's even bothered. So it has to be Malakuma file. The victim was Sakura at the time of death was estimated. The body was discovered, blah blah blah. There is evidence of a strong blow to the edge. No other injuries were noted. However, there seems to be some point of him suffering from a violent vomiting of blood. Oh my f wait, 
Wait, that doesn't explain things there. Uh, that that vomit violating the vomit from the blood that could have just been easily been the the fucking blow because she. I don't even, was it? What the fuck am I doing wrong here? There's no other possible cause. But killed Sakura. I can't think of anything other than the shot to her head. Oops. So you fuck. can't sit on blaming me, huh? This game's really pissing me off right now. What was it? That it wasn't the dinosaur jewels attack? Then what was it? There's no other cause. Killed Sakura. I can't think of anything other than the. I guess that's the answer. The vomiting from the blood from what we discovered, and then from what it looks like, it seems like the blood came from her head, not from her mouth. According to the Monokuma file, Sakura had vomited blood. Yes, and because she vomited blood, because of the yellow powder! Uh, continuing. I think we can assume there's a chance this was related to her cause of death. In fact, there was even a trace of blood left around her mouth. Okay, that explains things, so... But then again, that could be the blow from the head because some people can cough up blood even after being having sustained an, a very terrible injury. We need to exactly dictate what that blood from the mouth is, and that was from the yellow powder! Oh, I mean, maybe when she got hit with the bottle... She... If that's all it was, the file wouldn't have specified vomited blood. Not to mention, I didn't find any cuts inside her mouth. You even checked in there? God, you really are in No, I'm not into dead body. But if there wasn't a cut or I'm just sort of reaction, Sakura was poisoned. There we go! Oh my god! How long did that fucking take? Poison? Yellow powder! Right. This is the conclusion I've arrived at, and so there can be no mistake. You could have brought that up 30 fucking minutes ago, Byakuya! <laughs> You're making me go. Uh. She was poisoned? Is it really so hard to believe? Then let me explain exactly how the culprit was able to- Why can't I explain all this instead of Byakuya? I know the fucking game! I know all this crime shit in the Megami Tensei! You can... explain it? Yellow powder. The pill was on the A side. She accidentally drank it from there. Whoever put it there has to be the killer. And if she put it there, then she killed herself. If you did it, Aoi, I will not ever forgive you for this! Of course. If you did. Oh, yeah, it could be back. Yeah, who the fuck knows? I don't think any other person would be smart enough. But then again, Aoi's the only one who knows about the poison as well. But then again, so could be Yakuya. Everyone, quiet! Shut up and- but Shut up, the please. Talking. The key to unlocking this mystery was hiding in the chem lab up on the fourth floor. Huh? Not in the rec room? And I could have found it all along! You never would have, since you gave up on the search the moment you were barred from the crime scene. Well, yeah, good point. There's a big shelving unit okay. in the lab that houses a variety of mixtures and chemicals. And that's where I found this. Is that... the poison? It's not an especially powerful poison, but it'll still kill you if you drink an entire bottle. Which is probably what the bottle thing... The above properties it? don't matter. What does matter is where I found it. Where'd you find it? The shelf is divided up into three sections. A, B, and C. In section A, dietary supplements. In B, reagents. And in C, a variety of lethal chemicals. And that's where the poison came from? Section C? Well, that's the question, isn't it? It was in A. Wait, let me check real quickly. Just in... are you serious? I can't check the evidence. Well, I'm gonna assume it's A, from what I remember. Okay, good. The poison was actually in section A, wasn't it? Huh? You just said that section A was for supplements or whatever. Strange, isn't it? Why would there be a bottle? No oh, shit. Oops. No, don't auto. Nutritional additives. Yeah. So, why? Because the culprit switched it out. That's why. What do you mean? I mean... this. Oh shit. Put the bottle poison in. <laughs> you know, it'd be- I know the game's not gonna go there, but wouldn't it be funny if he accidentally drank poison instead? It's like, I have proof that the label has been switched, and then he just drinks the poison bottle, and I will prove that this poison bottle is actually the protein. Unk, unk, unk. Well, it actually is poison. 
<laughs> oh, that would just be- oops. That would just be fucking funny as hell. Master! We are so shocked at what we were seeing, all we could do is stand there and watch. But as soon as it were the most natural thing in the world, Byakuya was as calm as ever. Dude, I think he has an idea as to why he did that. Have to drink some water. You can't just swallow powder. It'll stick to your throat. That was probably water. Idiot. He just swallowed poison. We need to make him spit it out. He's trying to make a point here, guys. Goddamn, I'm filled with idiots around here. The flavor certainly makes me want to spit it out. What's so high quality about this stuff? Huh? What are you talking about? I'm talking about the protein, of course. Protein? Can I see that bottle for a second? Uh, sure. Do whatever you like. Kyoko took the bottle from Byakuya and scrapped out a bit of contents with one finger. She touched it with her... She touched her finger to her tongue. This is... It's protein powder. Correct. That wasn't poison in the bottle, but harmless protein powder. Which makes one wonder, the poison that should have been in that bottle, where did it go? It was in the protein bottle. That was so obvious, right? Do we really need a testimony in this shit? Come on. Wait, who's Hangman's Gambit? Protein. Protein. Protein bottle. Protein. What the fuck does that second word mean? Whatever. Uh, R. R. Where's R? I D N. R. Arg. R. There we go. Pro T T T T T T T. Oh my god. Am get the fuck away. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, E. Pro T E. E E E E E E E E E E E E. Okay. Okay. That's a little bit tricky. There we go. Damn it. Are you serious? Give me an E already. Wheel of Fortune. I'd like to buy a vowel. Not that vowel, you fucking dingus! I like to buy E! There we go. And Okay, now what the fuck is that second word? Protein drink. Okay. It has to involve the liquid somehow, so... That's where the poison was. Okay. There we go. I swear to god, this part is just being me pissed off because of how fucking delayed it is. It must have been poured into the protein pan. Okay. The protein's in the poison bottle. I mean, I know what killed her. I just have to figure out who the fuck killed her. Right? Absolutely. The contents of each container were switched. So the protein was in the bottle of poison, and the poison was in the protein pan. Once you accept that, it becomes obvious how the culprit was able to get Sakura to drink the poison. Holy crap! All they had to do was hand her something there at the scene, and she was happy to drink the poison herself. Something at the scene? A cup filled with- no, that's not it. NOT THE MONOKUMA BOTTLE! I got it! That was obvious. You're saying they gave her a protein drink, right? A protein drink which actually contained a deadly poison. What? That's all it took to kill Sakura. That is the true cause of death. You know? I do remember Ogre saying that protein stuff was good for all kinds of aches and pains. So maybe she took it to try and help with the whole bleeding head wound thing. That could also be just her natural abilities. What was offered to her instead was a bottle full of poison. And I already know exactly who swapped the mixtures. Alright. For real? Who was it? Evidence revealing who replaced the two materials was left in the chem lab for anyone to see. Footprints? The evidence that shows who switched them, it has to be. It must be who found... It must be what I we found in the front shelf. Alright, so it has to do with the uh, protein thing. What does it say again? Well, we'll figure it out in the next part, so stay tuned for our next episode of Danganronpa uh, Trigger Happy Fart Nuggets.